we continue with Heraclitus uh, fragments. So we have frag D57. Herapolitus, refutations of all heresies. Doctors, Heraclitus says, cutting, cauterizing, badly mistreating their patients in every way, complain that they do not receive an adequate payment from their patients and are producing the same effects, benefits, and diseases. Hmm. This passage is very uncertain regarding not only its text, but also what it was assigned to Heraclitus and what to. It seems to illustrate the unity of opposites, good and bad, by the example of doctors. Hmm. They mistreat their patients and complain of not receiving adequate payment. Hmm. They're producing the same effects. They want to be paid to mistreat. <laughs> They're complaining of doctors. <laughs> Platonus and it's changing. It remains at rest. That's changing it remains at rest. Plotinus. Hmm. Plotinus. Mm. A kukion too separates out if it is stirred. Mm. A kukion too. It also says, with a different text, a kukion too separates out if it is not stirred. A kukion is a drink made out of a suspended mixture of barley, cheese, and water or wine. Uh, it says, Theophratus on dizziness. A kukion too separates out if it is stirred. Strange, because he, they say it's separated out if it is not stirred. Uh, I don't know what they're saying there, hmm. but that's the point. <laughs> hmm. Like fre flesh, theophratus metaphysics, like flesh of things spread out at random. Most beautiful order, cosmos, like Flesh spread out at random. The most beautiful order. There, there, there's your cosmos quote. Your random cosmos is beautiful. Mm -hmm. And here is the Greek quote. Mm -hmm. D60. It's Theophrates. Like flesh of things spread out at random, the most beautiful order, in other words, cosmos. Like what? Flesh. Flesh. There's footnotes here. I don't know what these indicators are. Like flesh? You, I mean... Flesh. The word is O... O... Oh, goodness. Pi. Let's shoot. A... P... P... Rho... There's a Greek word here. Footnote. I can have it in Greek, dear. Flesh. But I can't pronounce the, Spell it. F L E S H. But why what's the you, point? Why, why she says like flesh? I mean, why she compares it to that? It's it's a Greek word, dear. Spell the Greek word. <laughs> what's that? Pi, A, R, P. Hmm. I can't. I forgot my Greek letters. I see what I get up there. Oh. You can check it on your Google. My Greek is uh, embarrassing. Your Greek is terrible. Oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll come come back to that. Uh, 
But it, he's just saying that the random like appearance of the stars in the sky is like beautiful. The highest order, not the beautiful. The most beautiful order of the cosmos. Order. So that's good for your. You can quote that with your art. Mm -hmm. Suda, and approach. Get the, get the page. Though. That's D sixty. The and approach, <coughs> Heraclitus. What's this though? Along the fitting together of opposites. I don't know what that means. Heraclitus. This is Aristotle. Heraclitus says that what is a opposed converges and that the most beautiful harmony comes out of what diverges and that all things come about by strife uh -huh. now here aristotle is saying he's saying now we have the fragments he's saying saying that that what is opposed converges, which he's quoting fragment D47, and that the most beautiful harmony comes out of what diverges, which is fragment D49, and that all things come about by strife, which is fragment D63. So here they've got these fragments numbered. Somehow in this book is numbering them, maybe. <clears throat> And the one about the cosmos is fragment D60. And who is D? <laughs> war. Now we have war or Oregon. One must know that war is in common, that justice is strife, and that all things come about by strife and constraint. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Politis. War is the father of all and the king of all and has revealed that the ones are gods and the others humans and has made the ones slaves and the others free. That's kind of cryptic, huh? And go on. Flux. Here, he's famous for Flux, I believe. D65. Heraclitus Homeric Allo. Our allegories. This is Heraclitus' homework allegories. Is that his writing? We step and we do not step into the same rivers we are and we are not. That's one of his most famous quotes, dear. <laughs> homework allegories <laughs> of Heraclitus himself. <laughs> We step and we do not step into the same rivers. We are and we are not. Hmm. There's the original Greek right here. Hmm. 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 You should be reading the Greek. Hmm. Why don't you read this book? Hmm. You have to toil, you have to work uh, to get hungry. <laughs> you have to be hungry and have to work at reading this, so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, all right, as we continue on this flux idea, it is always different waters that flow towards those who step into the same rivers. Hmm. Plato says, Socrates says, Heraclitus says something like this, that all things flow and nothing remains, and comparing the things that are to the flowing of a river, he says that you could not step twice into the same river. <sighs> So this is Socrates saying what Heraclitus said in Plato, Kratilus. Hmm. So it's repeated by Plato, Socrates and by Plato. Seneca says, uh, what is, this is what Heraclitus says, into the same river we do and do not step twice. 
we do and do not. For the name river remains the same, but the water passes by. It's different interpretations. And then Aristotle in metaphysics says, the Heraclitan doctrines according to which all perceivable things are constantly flowing, and there is no knowledge about them. <laughs> That stuffy Aristotle. <laughs> uh, we were reading up to D fragment D sixty six and we we read uh, this famous quote about the fox uh, stepping into the river. Mm -hmm. mm. That's a nice one. Mm. Early Greek philosophy. Mm.